KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090, Alabama license number 11120. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, December 23rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and uh, here's your weekly dose of spilled paint. We'll look at patterns first. We're going to go um, to the uh, 300 millibar level of the GFS. That's up about 35,000 feet where the big jets fly, showing a, a shortwave trough this morning moving uh, out of the plains into the Midwest. That's uh, producing some lift over Alabama. Clouds and showers uh, will be in the forecast for today. Just uh, uh, light showers. Not expecting a lot of rain, but uh, you will have to dodge a few raindrops if you're doing any last-minute Christmas shopping today. Now, for Christmas Eve morning, uh, basically a, a fairly flat pattern over Alabama. We return to uh, calm conditions for Christmas Eve and even Christmas Day. But by the uh, morning of the 26th, we see the uh, seeds of change uh, so showing up here in the pattern. Uh, over the southwest, we see a deep trough, and we know what deep troughs mean. Eventually, that means uh, negative weather for Alabama. Now, broad southwesterly flow established uh, by uh, Saturday morning of next week. Uh, and you can see uh, we're pretty ensconced in that, so that means uh, a fairly wet pattern for Alabama. Let's go to the dailies at the surface, showing, uh, uh, showing those showers showing up over North Alabama, Northern Mississippi, Southern Tennessee. Maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation on the backside of Western Kentucky and Northwest Tennessee, but nothing like that for us here in Alabama. Now we move to tomorrow morning, Monday, December 24th. High pressure, firmly in control of Alabama's weather, and that means a nice day. We'll be cool in the 50s. But uh, we will see uh, a good bit of sunshine on your Christmas Eve. Now, by Christmas morning, uh, this is noon on Tuesday, uh, showing still dry conditions over most of Alabama. Maybe a few showers edging into the uh, northwestern corner of the state. We begin to see return flow off the Gulf of Mexico into Louisiana and the Arklatex, though. If you're looking for a white Christmas, this is the GFS's prediction of where there will be snow on the ground at noon on Tuesday. Uh, you can see the best chances, of course, out west in the uh, mountainous terrain, the Sierras, the Rockies. Uh, good chance uh, across uh, northeastern Montana, uh, northern uh, North Dakota, over into Minnesota, maybe southern Wisconsin with a little short wave moving through there, and some uh, snowfall amounts in the northeast. But uh, all in all, the United States are fairly snow-free for this December 25th. As we go forward to Wednesday the 26th, uh, you can see rain beginning to really break out in earnest. The Texas Gulf Coast all up through Oklahoma and Kansas. A very warm pattern, though. No snow there. You'd have to go up into South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, perhaps Wyoming and Montana to see snowfall on the morning of the 26th. And, of course, our boss will be flying out west to go skiing. And it looks like he's going to have pretty good luck uh, there in Colorado uh, as um, moisture moves into that area. But now, low pressure over southeastern Oklahoma by Thursday morning, uh, really beginning to ramp up the rain chances uh, with the uh, aid of that high pressure off the east coast showing good chances of rain in Alabama. Will be uh, fairly mild, temperatures near 60 on Thursday uh, with a really good chance of rain. I think this is going to be a very wet weather pattern coming for Alabama. Now, the first cold front tries to move through on Friday the 28th. That's good news for Auburn fans heading to Nashville for the Music City Bowl. Rain should be ending uh, right after game time if this forecast holds true. And uh, we'll hope that's the case. But rain uh, beginning to taper off down here in Alabama too. Now, Saturday morning the 29th. The rainfall uh, has pushed uh, further to the south in South Alabama early uh, or during the afternoon on Friday. We get a short respite Friday night. But you can already see the seeds of change again. That um, precipitation along the Gulf Coast beginning to come back to the north. Uh, our friends who will be in Miami should experience uh, fairly tropical, tranquil conditions, maybe a few showers, but warm conditions for the uh, Orange Bowl. And, uh, you know, as we move forward um, through time, uh, we, you know, stay, uh, you know, we, we get back into the rain pattern Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning, 
and um, and stay pretty wet during that time. But this is a whole nother system out at 216 hours, Tuesday, uh, January 1st, early morning hours. We see a low pressure there uh, along the Red River and uh, more rain for Alabama. Now this uh, this uh, scenario right here, this pattern looks uh, a little bit uh, a little bit stormy for Alabama. Uh, low pressure over southeastern Kansas, moving up into Missouri, cold front uh, pushing into the uh, Louisiana, Arkansas region, and uh, we might just have enough uh, instability on um, on the first uh, New Year's Day for us to see thunderstorms in Alabama, and that actually has a bit of a severe weather look to it. So it could be that we start off the year with a bang, unfortunately, in the severe weather department. Now, snow fans, uh, if you're worried about going back to school or work on, t on uh, the 3rd, uh, the GFS hints that we might have a little wintry mischief way out in voodoo territory. Too early to talk about, but at least it gives us something to, uh, to look at over the next couple of weeks. And remember, the GFS was really accurate with this uh, stormy pattern that we're going to be going into this week. And full out voodoo, uh, how about uh, Sunday the 6th at noon, high pressure uh, over Alabama. As a matter of fact, the whole rest of that first week of January looks pretty nice. Uh, but it's going to be a wet, stormy week across Alabama. Uh, lots to talk about as we go through time. And uh, as I always say, until the next time I get together with you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Thank you.